another mascara review. Guys, I haven't done a mascara review in a hot minute. This one is really exciting. It's by Terry. This is the Lash Expert Twist Brush. This costs about $30 depending on where you buy. It's a dual action mascara, extra length, extreme volume, innovative twistable brush, professional results, a false lash effect. Lashes look infinitely longer and more volumized with just one stroke. Twist the brush to add volume, simplicity, and innovative technology allow to achieve professional results. Clump resistant, flake resistant, smudge resistant. Powerful lash care ingredients, exceptional strength, easily buildable, highly pigmented formula. It also has a unique blend of jojoba, olive, and avocado oils nourishes the lashes. Conditioning waxes and keratin strengthen each lash to help prevent breakages and promote growth. I'm not familiar with this brand. It sounds like it's a high-end brand from the UK. Now the reason why I got this, and I don't believe it's a new mascara by any means, but the reason why I got this was because of Rose and Ben. I follow her primarily on Instagram she has a lot of great advice on makeup tips and just recommendations and she said this is her favorite mascara although we have different lashes i really want to try out her favorite one so we will see how this works i've tested it out a couple of times we will be doing the eight to nine hour wear test like usual i know you guys find that really helpful and you guys know i'm on a hunt to find the best mascara and i'm doing a drugstore version and a high-end version and some of the ones that i've tested out in the last two weeks you have seen some others i've done just you know in my personal life just to see and there hasn't been too many so if you have a favorite one that I haven't talked about on my channel yet let me know in the comments below because I definitely want to check it out so this is what it looks like and then you just twist the bottom and then you can slowly see it shrinking can you guys see that this is pretty cool I've never seen anything like this just doing this back and forth is a lot of fun so I'm going to be doing the length side. I guess I'll do the length side on my left eye, L and L, so I can remember, and the volume side on my right eye. I already curled my lashes off camera. Now this is not waterproof by any means, but she said that this has a really great hold for it not being waterproof. And I know a lot of people don't like waterproof because it's not the most easy to remove. So this might be a really interesting alternative. So this is one coat of the length and it looks pretty good. I'm not impressed by any means. We're gonna add one more layer and kind of see how that looks. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these bristles are quite big. So I have to be careful. So you can easily make a mess, especially if you have like short lashes like me. Second coat, my lashes look more noticeable. There's just more of a difference. And to me, it makes it just a little more worth it, especially for the 30 bucks, but not bad. Now let's do the volume side and the fun part. Wee! I just like how it has like that um, spirally look. It definitely makes the brush bigger and thicker, which you guys might already know that I'm not the biggest fan of that. It just can kind of get a bit messy if you're not extra careful. This is what one layer looks like with the volume. It's so-so. We're going to go in with another layer. Tell me you see a difference from the length side versus the volume side. There's actually a difference. I thought this was, you know, kind of gimmicky. I still think it is a little gimmicky, but there is definitely a difference. The volume side, it just looks more voluminous, especially at the base, and it just looks a little more intense. And I can see why you would like to use both. Like starting with the link and then working up the volume. Although my lashes look different, they're not crazy different that I don't think too many people are going to notice. Also, I'm not really seeing anybody today besides my mom. So I will see you guys later today for that wear test. Now, I didn't use a mascara primer. I don't have any eyeshadow primer on my lids like I usually do. I don't do that specifically for mascara reviews just so we can see how the product works solely on its own. I will see you guys later tonight and we'll see how my lashes look. Finally got the chance to look at myself. It's around nine o'clock and I am looking very, very oily. So let's see up close, see how the mascara looks. All right, I'm seeing more smudging with the volume side on the eyelids and just a little bit of smudging under my eye towards the inner corner, actually on both sides. Not too bad on the lid for the length side. I think overall thoughts, this is just an average mascara. If I were to wear eyeshadow primer, I don't think any of that would be happening because I did wear this in one of my recent videos. If you wanna see how that mascara looks with eyeshadow primer, I'll leave that video right here. 
it didn't have any of this going on not even anything under my eyes and then also i was wearing a mascara primer as well so the combination of the two really helped this mascara but just on its own i think it's just average we're going to keep looking for the best mascaras if you guys have any recommendations definitely let me know down below and before you leave like this video subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content i'll see you guys in another video bye